Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we look at the second of two examples on blown film. Here, we will discuss how oscillation offers additional clues to the bagginess source and why it must soon be turned off for troubleshooting. We also discuss a defect almost unique to blown film, the ring star. Most web manufacturing is streaky, and blown film is no exception. By streaky, I mean that the cross-web profile is relatively constant with time. Some features may be present for minutes, hours, days, or even the life of the machine. So if we look at the general case of defects, we will note that the oscillator separates the world into two parts. Defects made upstream of the oscillator will sweep sideways across the finished rolls at the same rate as the oscillation speed. The very few defects made downstream of the oscillator will remain relatively stationary with respect to CD position. Knowing that the blown film defects move sideways at a predictable rate would allow us, for example, to troubleshoot laminates. Any defect lane that is in the final product that moves sideways at this rate belongs to the blown film, and defects that are relatively stationary within a supply roll belong to one of the other plies. Baggy webs is a defect where oscillating the die ring instead of a unit after the primary nip may help some with the buildup of gauge bands that could lead to baggy lanes. However, as we will see, current machine design practices fall short of achieving the ideal of a level roll. Before we begin the specific case of blown film troubleshooting, let us begin with the more general situation involving automatic gauging controls. It is always a good idea to briefly turn off the automatic controls to see what they are trying to correct for. Finding the biggest sorts of variability and reducing it will allow the automatic controls to perform even better. In some cases, we may even find that the automatic controls destabilize gauge profile despite the sales pitch of the suppliers. This can happen due to a combination of inadequate sensing resolution, poor control actuators, poor mapping, or a poor control algorithm. In the specific case of oscillation, we must also turn it off. If the profile we are working on is gauge related, we will have to turn it off for much or all of a wound roll. The reason for turning off both automatic controls and oscillation is the same. They hide the very problem you are trying to find and fix. Let us finish with a defect that is unique to blown film. That is what I call the asymmetric ring star. While the most common case of starring extends from very near the core upward some distance, the ring star is located on a band well above the core. If both sides of the roll are symmetrical, the cause could be an abrupt but momentary loss of one of the TNTs occurring when that portion of the roll was made. If the ring star is not the same on both sides of the roll, then we have the special blown film case. So how is this defect formed? Well, as in all stars, it involves a collapse of layers in the wound roll during winding. While layers may collapse for many reasons, the reason here is because the caliper gauge or thickness of the web is relatively low there. So while high spots tend to make bagginess, low spots tend to make starring. In the specific case of blown film, 
These are low spots in a streaky bubble moving sideways at the rate of oscillation. This oscillation is quite slow, perhaps half of a revolution per minute. This low spot will, for a time, build up a region of weakness in the wound roll and then move on. If this weakness is near the roll edge, and eventually it will reach an edge, it collapses into a ring star that you can see on the ends. Soon, the low spot will pass the edge and then the roll will build more nicely. Depending on a number of factors, such as the width and number of low spots and the width and diameter of the finished rolls, you may end up with a repeating pattern corresponding to the number of oscillations made during roll build. For typical packaging film rolls, this might be several rings. If the low spots are narrow enough, this defect might not occur. More importantly, if the oscillation rate is fast enough, the defect will also not occur. To prevent gauge profile problems and winding, one would like to have the defect region oscillated well before an inch or two centimeters of roll buildup are made. Yet, the fastest oscillations in the blown film industry are slow, or far too slow, to help as much as they might. I have had blown film operators increase speed to the maximum, and no untoward results were noted. I have asked the builders why so slow, and have not gotten a response. I do not believe there should be any machine rotation limitations, as machines much larger and more complicated are sped at 10 and even 100 times as fast. If anyone has experienced process limitations, on the other hand, please comment below. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical video series. Stay tuned for the next clip, a final exam exercise if you like, where we will solve a seemingly impossible baggy web problem in less than a day.